The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, The Experience Pros. And is telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. Thanks. It's good to be here. Thank you. What's our storytelling tip this week? It is to be quotable, especially if you want to be, you know, remembered. And most of us, when we're telling our story for our businesses, we want to be remembered. So it's a good idea to be quotable, to say something that the rest of us will quickly understand and also a little stick in our Memories. The little little quotes are, are sticky uh, and, and very retweetable, if you will. Well, and they're not just retweetable, but they yeah they just stay in our brains. You know, we're drawn to to good quotes, and I know when I was a reporter, reporters love good quotes for the same reason that they they almost by definition mean that they're a, a good, clever, memorable way of saying something. That's why they're so quotable, if you will, because the rest of us want to repeat it, um, and they have impact because. You know, they express a truth that the rest of us easily understand and then, of course, remember. Um, you know, Will Rogers and Mark Twain, we've all heard of them, and they made they made careers and made fame out of simply repeating a lot of one-liners, a lot of which we still remember today because even though they were talking about things that were very topical, a lot of what they said um, still applies today. I mean, we've all heard, you know, Mark Twain's famous line about the reports of my death are greatly exaggerated. Sure. But... You know, he, he said a lot of other things, like, you know, one that you probably haven't heard of before, but you get right away, which is that he says that a man who carries a cat by the tail learns something he can learn no other way. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah. I mean, you know, even if you've never seen that, and you probably haven't, you you, you know right away what he's saying. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and Will Rogers, you know, once said that, you know, even if you're on the wrong track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. Mm. You know, that's pretty good advice. For just about all of us, right? Absolutely. I and you know, I think they're they're you can you hear them, they're memorable, they're short, they're pithy, they're quick, they're easy to remember. Did but I don't know, Jerry did they know they were gonna be so timeless when they when they said them, do you think? Well, I don't know that they were speaking to be timeless, but I think that, you know, the people who uh speak those kinds of things often what they say is timeless. That's what makes them so powerful is because they're kinda universal. Mm. I mean, that's why certain writers or certain painters or certain musicians or uh just stay around for so long and is because what they say and do and, and um produce is is universal. So Jerry, is there is there something that if if I want to be quotable, if I want to be witty like that, uh a rule of thumb, something that I can, can that can guide me in the creation of such a well, quote? It needs to be short. Okay. You know, a you don't usually quote a ten line or a ten sentence quote. So it needs to be short. It needs to be very clear. It needs to say whatever it is you want to say, and it needs to say it very clearly. It needs to be, you know, we've heard about elevator speech as well. An elevator speech is actually too long to be quotable. If you, sure. It, it, it really is the one-line summation of what you're trying to tell me. So kind of like what Angel just said uh, a moment ago. She says uh, you, you don't necessarily want people to be overly friendly when you're in prison. That's probably true. That's very quotable. Yeah, it is very quotable. Well, and actually, you know, you guys have, I think, uh, you would describe yourself as the most positive business talk show in America. So right. I, just for grins this morning, I Googled and I entered the words the most positive. Now, okay. that's a very broad phrase, right? Sure, sure. And when I hit the return button just to see what would happen, the experience pros came up in about the fifth or sixth position just wow. out of those very general just words. The, using the words the most positive the most positive we showed up on the first page and wow the, thank you dr ivan meisner and when i entered the words the most positive business you were in the top two positions my goodness so you, you were talking about quotable quotes being tweetable i mean now part of that is repetition um, and, you know, some of the quotes that we really remember, you know, things like, damn the torpedoes full speed ahead. We may not even remember. I mean, it's clearly about something to do with 
naval combat, you would guess. Yes. Right. And we don't know what it's about, but it applies in a lot of other things. Well, one of the reasons we know about quotes like that is that they've been repeated so often. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it makes perfect sense to me. Absolutely. And I think that's what we love about about you, Jerry, is that you are you bring everyday things that we are already familiar with anyways, but we can implement these quotes into helping other people then remember our story because we can tie into something that that somebody already remembers, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, fabulous. Well, this week's tip from Jerry Brown, be quotable to be remembered. For an article about today's storytelling tip on the Experience Pros Radio Show, go to Jerry's blog at jerrybrownpr.com. You'll also find an archive of all of the storytelling tips that Jerry shares on the Experience Pros on his website, jerrybrownpr.com. The late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry. Hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. He can also help you edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. You can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com. Or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. Jerry, thank you so much.